The purpose of this recording is to show you how to trace the locus of a point using Casio Caspect 400. Given a point B and a circle, let A be a point on the circle. Join AB and let M be the midpoint AB. Animate A along the circle. Find the locus of M. This is a demonstration to show you how to trace the locus of M by using class pack 400. From the main menu, I click Geometry. I then set up the axis creating the axis icon, construct a point on an empty space. Now the point A appear. I want to call this point B. Select this point, move the cursor to the right, move down, Create a text. Instead of A, I'm going to call this point B. Confirm. To make my calculation easier, I'm also going to fix the coordinate of B. Construct a point on an empty space. Now, the point A appear. I want to call this point B. Select this point. Move the cursor to the right. Move down. Create a text. Instead of A, I'm going to call this point B. Confirm. To make my calculation easier, I am also going to fix the coordinate of B. To modify the coordinate of B, let's select coordinate and change it to 4, 3, and then confirm. Next, we are going to construct a circle. First, toggle away the property of the point B. Construct a circle by selecting a circle with center and a point. Select the center and some point. And we have a circle C with center B appear. We are going to change the label. Select the point C and change it the label D. So right click and change the label to D. And then confirm, toggle away. Now, we are going to change the label of the center. To do this, you must select an empty space first. And now, click the point, the center of the circle. And toggle the view. And now, I'm going to change it to the point C. Confirm. Now, I'm going to change the coordinate of the center C. To do this, select coordinate. Now, I change it to negative 1 and 0. 
and then confirm. Next, I'm going to set the radius of a circle to be 2. First, I toggle away from the point C. Select a point in the empty space. It is important to tap on the empty space to make a new selection or new process. Now, I'm going to select the circle, toggle to change the property of this circle. Now, I'm going to change the radius to 2. There are some other properties you can find. Let's confirm the radius to be 2. And then toggle away. To start a new process, click on the empty space. Next, I'm going to construct a point on the circle and call this point A. To do this, click on the empty space first. Use the construction tool, construct a point, and place the point on the circle. I'm going to change the label of this point to A. To do this, select the point D, go to property, and select label and change it to A and then confirm. Now, I'm going to join A and B and construct the midpoint of AB. To do this, let's toggle away from property of A, select empty point first, then make a new construction, use the construct tool, select Construct a line segment given two points. Now we select A and B. So the line segment is constructed. Now we are going to construct the midpoint of AB. To do this, you start with selecting an empty space to start with a fresh selection or fresh construction. Now, select the line segment AB, go to geometrical construction, and select the midpoint. Once you select the midpoint, the midpoint E appear. Now we're going to change the label to M. To do this, click on the empty space, then select the point E here, then toggle, change the label, to M, then confirm. To help us see color, let's change the color of some point. So I'm going to select the point M and then edit, style, change the line color, let's say to green. OK. To view the locus of M, as A moves along the circle, select the point A, and then the circle, select Edit, Animate, Add Animation. Then we select the point M, edit, animate, trace. To view the animation, select view, animate UI, from the animation. Select play, and you'll see that the M or trace and become a circle.